Hello everyone and welcome to a Roaring Records tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a bit on the strange side. Today we are going to talk about how in the world Logic is like Soundtrap. Here's Logic, here's Soundtrap. Soundtrap's web-based, you can get it on any device. Uh, not quite as powerful of a tool as Logic, but we're used to Logic. We know where everything is in Logic. So um, today I'm just going to kind of talk through like where where to go in Soundtrap to make things happen like you would expect them to in Logic. So in Logic, one of the things that you like to do is pull over a loop, and that's in this window where you can organize your loops, and then you can search by instrument and genre or other descriptors. Well that is available to you in SoundCloud as well and really it's almost the same place it's just right here so if you do this you still have genre and um, descriptor instrument descriptors that you can search for so you highlight those and it will limit it to certain uh, things or you can highlight it by a major or minor scale it's kinda neat depending on what you want to uh, check out for sure but that's here we're just gonna leave it on any scale right now and if you're ready for a loop all you do is drag it over into your project and just like that it's done I'm borrowing Moses's project today so I'm not gonna add anything to his project just yet um, but that would be how you would add uh, a loop there so the loops are up there for you to get started with um, here's your tempo if you don't like it at 120 where we would normally grab and slide our tempo up here in logic that would be right here that we could set that we could go in here and grab our tempo and change or we can do the plus or minus or we can tap the tempo nice little thing notice that click above the tap T repeatedly to set click above here you can click with your mouse or tap the T button on your uh, keyboard and it will set the BPM for you and then you confirm any changes that you've made so right now if we wanted to speed this track up we could bump it up and there we go now the whole track plays at 136 or we could slow it back down use my typing keyboard 120 now everything's back at 120 so that's kind of cool um, We've got several different uh, tools up here. One, if you are in Logic and you use this button to turn on your cycle region, like it's currently set up, or you grab and draw a cycle region like that, you in Soundtrap will use this button. There's your cycle region. And then you can lengthen and shorten your cycle as you so choose. Um, again, that's this button right here or like logic you can get it by clicking it on and off with the actual purple little doodad right here which is really quite cool we'll turn that region off um, here is your grid size so you can actually choose right here what time signature you want it in now logic has lots of time signatures for you to choose from but the most common two are definitely 3-4 four, and 4-4. Four, four. So here you can pick whether you want 3 beats for each bar or 4 beats for each bar. 4, like we talked about, is the most common. Um, 3 if you want to have a little fun. And you can change the size of the grid here, meaning how often you see the little clicks. Now, normally the automatic grid size will adjust based on how zoomed in you are. But normally what we see is quarter notes there in Logic. Notice there's four little dashes in between each one there. There's four little dashes in between each ruler marker there. So that's the same, but you can change it if you want to. Now, what happened? I just said 16 and it didn't change. Well, that requires that you zoom in down here. Now you'll notice there are 16 little markers there. And if we want it to just be quarter, we can just limit it to quarter. If we don't want to see those, we can just make it one measure at a time. I like it to do automatic that way it just when you need it to on the zoom in now zoom in is down here that zooms in both the full track and it zooms in on the piano roll when you have the piano roll now in logic you zoom here 
right? So if you're used to zooming there or here, you've got two different types of zoom. And then if you're in the piano roll, you can actually zoom the piano roll independently of the project up top. Now in this one, you can't do that. So to get into the piano roll, you can either double click a region and now zooming does both. Notice that the top field and the bottom field zoom at the same time. So that's a little different, but uh, not, not wildly uh, different. Um, so again, I got to this by double clicking on a region. But what happens if you want to make a new instrument? Well, normally in Logic, you would come up here and click the plus button in SoundCloud. Here it is right on your track list. Boom, enter a new instrument. So you can choose, do I want a piano or keyboard? Do I want a guitar or bass sound? Do I want a drum sound, um, string sounds, brass and woodwind sounds, synthesizer sounds? Now the difference between these two are the guitar and bass amp is if you have an actual guitar hooked up to your computer. Um, this is for making sounds that come out sounding like a guitar or bass amp. And then this is you can use uh, any old microphone or even your built-in computer microphone to help you um, record vocals in. If you're using a computer microphone, I highly recommend that you also have headphones in so you don't get a massive amount of feedback. Um, again, if you were adding a new track over here, you're looking at the difference between guitar or bass, which on Soundtrap is called guitar or bass amp. Um, and this one would, audio would be your microphone, software instrument would be all the other stuff. Here, your software instruments are here. All these six are your software instruments. And then your audio instrument is here, or your guitar and bass guide is here. If you don't want to do that version, you can also come down here and import a file. So if you have a file on your computer already that you want to work with, you can do that. You can do the pattern beat maker. This is like ultra beat. So remember when we're in uh, logic and we go in and we pick uh, ultra beat and we get this funky, uh, funky sequencer right here. Well, you've got that option over here too. You can make a pattern beat maker. Now, this is a lot more dense over here with a lot more sounds, but here you can uh, pick your sounds that you want and you get um, your choice, however many you uh, so choose to be available to you. Um, and then you just, you just click and add your beat. Um, kick, 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 kick. We learned that the other day. That's four on the floor, snare, snare. Um, and then we'll just go super traditional rock beat. So now we have a back beat with a kick and snare, um, and we got the traditional rock beat. So I want to solo this, right? So if I want to solo and only hear in Logic, I hit the Notice my voice went away when I hit the S. S. Um, so you've got the option to solo that part there. Here, if I want to solo, I'm going to use the headphones. The headphones is the solo part, and now we'll listen to this groove. Oops, I forgot one of the eighth notes. There we go, the traditional backbeat. And you've got something that works very much like Ultra Beat, which is really cool. So uh, this is volume adjustment, uh, record enable. If you're gonna play on a keyboard, let me kind of show you that. If you hit this and you wanna play on a piano, automatically the instrument pops up. Notice the labels here at the bottom. You can actually use your typing keyboard to play on this. If it's an octave too high or an octave too low, you can shift that octave here. Logic does not have this feature, right? Does not. You can change sounds here um, as you want to. So I'm literally just gonna type on my piano or my typing keyboard. But it's muted. So 
So there you go, that's the synthesizer. Or, you know, in Logic, we always get our lovely piano roll down here. Boom, piano roll right there. You can use your pencil tool here to click notes in. Change their length. You can come out here and change the length of the MIDI region. Fa show. All that. Um, if you click on your pointer tool, you can draw boxes around things just like we do in Logic. Move them up and down as a group. Change their length. Well, nope. Change their length longer, but you cannot change their length shorter. Interesting. Um, you can also click the V, and this is the velocity tool. So as you scroll up or down, you can change their velocity. Now, in our piano roll over here, if we want to change velocity, we do that with this. But here, you're going to have to switch to the V. And then magically, if you have all selected, you can get rid of stuff too. So that's kind of a piano roll. You're pretty used to reading the piano roll at this part, so that shouldn't be too crazy. Um, your automations are this little button. So you can add an automation, volume panning, or sweeping. Um, sweeping is a new one for us, but I think you'll figure out real quick what it does. Um, volume and panning, you should be fairly used to at this point. Now, as far as the track inspector, so like, you know, we get in and we start making instruments and we have all these different effects and reverb and all that kind of stuff. So that's all part of the track inspector over here. Well, your track inspector here is in the, under this add effects category. So here is your basic processor. Um, it's an equalizer, bass and treble equalizer, just a two band. Um, you've got the option for reverb, panning. Um, here is, this is the center of the pan. Um, volume, but you can add effects too. So you can add any of these. So if you want a piano with some uh, guitar fuzz on it, Then you've got a piano with some guitar fuzz on it. Um, equalizers, uh, slap back for like a delay effect. I mean, just all sorts of different stuff that you can get in. And you can chain as many of them. They go in order from left to right. Over in Logic, they go in order top to bottom. Um, this is left to right. So that's your uh, track inspector. Um, there's no master um like mastering process other than just changing the overall volume <clears throat> that you hear from your computer which is right here just know that when you save the file right here it automatically masters it and sets it to a good volume um outside the project hmm, I'm trying to think is there anything else oh one last thing that's uh pretty cool two last things if you hit add new track and microphone It'll ask you to do this uh, balancing process before you start recording to make sure your volume is right on your microphone. So make sure you do that. It'll ask you to speak really loud into the microphone and then to be quiet. So make sure you do both levels of that. Again, your track inspector is here. It's got a lot of stuff already uh, set and ready to go for you. Different effects in here if you want to get uh, crazy with the vocal effects. And last but not least, um, this collaborator function is really cool. So this is actually Moses's project, and Moses is not here right now, but um, he built this project, and it shows me as a collaborator. I can call him right now and actually have him in a video chat, or I can leave him a message and be like, hey, bro, I think this is really cool, but you know, at Measure 32, you've got a little bit of issue going on here. Now, one of the cool things, if you're in a call chat with each other, you could actually have a beat and have your friend rap over it or sing over it or play guitar or add a new track. You open up the project. You're both in it at the same time. You tell them what you want them to do. They do it on their end and then hit save on their end. When they hit save on their side, you're going to see a button pop up right here that says sync. You have to hit the sync button to pull what they did on their side to your side so you can hear it. So you can actually um, have that 
collaboration go or you can make a podcast and two of you could rap at the same time actually so um you can do podcast style and actually both of you talk and then sync your audio over to the other person's machines so i'm sure you'll have fun playing around with that collaboration feature um everyone's using their gcps emails to be in here so um just be aware of that okay i think uh that should give you a pretty fair start for just about anything that you could ask for. Um, here's your metronome setting. Turn it on here and you can change the sound, how many count ends and what the volume is. All that you change right here with the metronome. So instead of having the metronome here, remember we always want to play with the metronome on when we start a track, then you should adjust the metronome here to turn it on and off. Um, again, all this should be self-explanatory down here. Play, pause, stop, go back to the beginning, record. Um, I, I think that's it. If you have questions, just shoot them to me in emails or messages, whatever. There's also a tutorial feature right here if you need it to do something. Keyboard shortcuts, all that good stuff. Um, Y'all have fun. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.